Explorers. I'm Alexis. I'm Logan. And today we're going to go talk to our friend Jada, who owns Ball Python. And we're going to learn all about Ball Pythons. Come explore with us. Explaining the obvious. Hi, what's your name? Jada. Hi, Jada. So, um, what kind of snake is this? He is a ball python. Um, what part of the world is he from? Um, they're originally from Africa. How old is she and what's his name? Oh wait, he is a little over a year, so maybe a year and three months, and his name is Pepper. How long is he? Like how long will he grow? Um, right now he's maybe around two feet, and they get up to about four and a half feet. So right now, if I can unravel him, he's about this long. Wow. How old did they get? Did they get? Yeah. Um, around up to 25 years, 25, 30 years. How do they like kill their pre like prey? Like yeah. So when you feed him, if you move the mouse around, he'll usually grab it by the head first and then coil around it, and they basically constrict it to death. So they cut off its oxygen supply. Cool. What kind of food do they eat? Um, in the wild, I'm sure they could eat anything. So they can really eat anything that's a little bit bigger than they are. Adult mice, sometimes small You're gonna rats. have to look outside for mice? No, you can go to the pet store and get mice. He's never bit anybody, and I don't think he will. He's pretty calm. Well, how can you tell if it's poisonous or not? So if it were a poisonous snake, how the scales up here are a lot smaller, they would be very small all throughout his head. But since he's not poisonous, he has larger scales down here towards his nose. And they, they usually have around nine, sometimes more, sometimes less. Cool. There are three different kinds. So the first kind would be that it basically destroys your red blood cells. So it would kind of eat away your arm. So it, with that kind, if you got bit by a snake like that, you wouldn't want to put a tourniquet on it because, yeah, it would stop it from going to the rest of your body, but it would also just kill everything and you would lose your arm if you got bit there. And there is another kind that if it bit you, it would stop you from being able to breathe and it would stop you from being able to see. Third kind that isn't that bad, but if they bite you, it kind of... It'll just make you really sick, but it wouldn't necessarily hurt you. Like, if I have him around my neck, if he, or my arm, if he gets cold, then he'll squeeze kind of tight to get warm, but nothing that would hurt him. The non-poisonous snakes, they can only open their mouths about at a 90 degree angle, like this, but a venomous snake, they can open their mouth at an 180 degree angle, so they can go completely flat like this. So they can so, like, they could bite you anywhere on your body. So if they were to bite you around your stomach, and it were the kind that kills your red blood cells, then they wouldn't be able to save you with that because it would basically eat all your internal organs and eventually move to your heart. And they wouldn't be able to stop it. How many teeth does a snake have? Like, um, I'm not 100% sure, but... Let me get to the top. Okay. Are you taking the shoes? Watch out! Watch out! Get him off! Get him off! Get him off! Oh my god! Oh, that freaks me yeah, out! No, so oh. badly! Oh, oh my god! Okay, I hold him. Oh, I'm fine. Get him unraveled again. My people. Oh, yeah, I said it. See? Okay. Because the head was like right there and it freaks me out. <laughs> okay. He's really nice. Oh. I'll try it again, but I don't want the head to hit It me out. Okay. That is so cute. Oh, I love that. It's actually that. licking you. Come here, Pepper. Oh, it's licking you. He's using his tongue to smell. One of the really Two. interesting things about their tongues is that how it's split and like a fork. Yeah. They use that so that they can tell when they're smelling something if it's more on the left side of them or on the right side. Um, they can see, but it 
makes it easier for them to find oh. their prey. Okay, hey, Alexis, can you try to light it? I can put them on you back. Yeah, yeah, um, oh my god. <laughs> it's going up for sleep. Yeah, he does that sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry. If you like our video, if you did, please subscribe below and leave a comment of what you want to what, what you want to do. I wonder if we could get a snake because our mom's allergic to anything with fur or fur. That'd be awesome. We're either thinking of a snake or a fish. A snake. I'd like a snake.